hey 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 this is Christian again and welcome back to my tutorials uh, this is the picture we're gonna make today it's rather simple but it looks pretty good I think so I thought I should make a tutorial on it so let's get right into it open your window like this double click on the layer to unlock it um, and we're starting off by making the background and we're using a um, gradient this one the first one uh, I've chosen the green color here and black in the back that rhymed okay <laughs> uh, start in the middle and drag it out like this again watch that you have this circle here and should look something like this. Uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, like that. To keep all, or not to keep it all, but to move every line out, you can hold Alt while dragging one of them, and the rest will follow. Just to keep it in the middle. Um, yeah. Now it's the letters, or not letters, but the lines. And we're going to use pen tool today. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I won't be making the exact same because that's. I spend a lot of time making the proportions right and making it look extra good. But this is how you do it. Um, if you cut. There's two ways you can do this, or probably more, but you should have these lines at the same um, level, or have them go straight. So I'm going to use a line to help me. By pressing Command R, I will get this, um, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, and I can drag a line from the top here and down to this point here. Uh, if I do this, I can see where the points should be on a straight line. So I'm going to zoom a lot in here so you can see the pixels. And then I am going to move this ones. Um, like this. If you didn't notice, I pressed F. So we'll get a better workflow. I can go out to the sides and I'm not limited by the edge of the picture. Now you know that. And drag this one down and this one down. Should be one pixel down. Or half a pixel. I always make sure everything is correct so it's easier for making the job easier for me later and it looks better and yeah, you should always keep the details like that and uh, now you could either copy this one um, so you have the same um, several times or you can keep going like making the same pattern over and over again. Um, I'm just gonna copy it, because now we know how to do it. Uh, there's only one problem problem with this, so I'll show you. Just take a light color like this, um, and make your brush size like eight, at least in this size. Um, Go to the pen tool, right click, and choose stroke path. And we're going to stroke it with the brush. Do not have simlet pressure on, because it gets thinner in the ends if you do that. Uh, press OK. And as you can see, you have the basic shape of the line here now. Uh, oh, sorry, you have to have it on, in our own, own layer. So make a new layer, Command Shift N, 
then right click stroke okay uh, press backspace twice to take away the lines from the pen tool now we have this one in its own layer so um, I'm gonna duplicate this layer command J and drag it to the side hold shift while dragging so it's keeping the line but as you can see here it it has these um, pixels on the side of the line here which is uh, low on opacity so it won't match exactly and that's the problem with this form of uh, job or this way of doing it so you have to take away the line under and over same on this one uh, and then you have to go in do like this um, oops move it to the side and then copy this one like that and the same on the top here um, to copy you go, press V to get to the arrow and then you hold alt while they're over these pixels then you copy it over without chain, uh, making a new layer uh, like that so now that line is fine but this one will have the same problem so I'm gonna go in here and remove this part on the correct layers of course <laughs> um, and I'm going to do the same on this one on the correct layer <laughs> and there we go then I'm going to use this line here uh, oh. first off I will merge layers like this command E on the top one and it will merge with the layer underneath it then I'm gonna take this line here mark it with M hold alt take the black arrow pressing V then hold alt shift and drag it to the side then unmark it and select and I'm gonna do the same on this side and like this looks good now I can press V and just not mark anything just hold alt and drag it hold shift as well and you can see that it's matching so but the line when is a little too far or long I mean so I'm gonna use this one just to measure how long it's supposed to be it's supposed to stop here so I'm gonna start the selection here and remove this part then I'm moving oops. then mark this area here press V and move it next to this one it seems difficult to and a complicated way to do it but if you're used to doing this it will go rather quickly so I don't think about it but now that I'm telling how to do it I can see that it seems kind of complicated but yeah take your time and just do it correctly um, I don't want this one here actually I want to start with the bottle now bottle uh, when I made the bottle I took a picture from the internet and I placed it here and I used pen tool to go around the bottle and that's something you can choose to do or but I won't do that now I'll just make the bottle um, 
first off I'll merge these two layers again press the top one, press command E then I'm gonna make a new layer and press approximately here then hold shift and press here and drag, hold shift I'm just gonna make a bottle almost seems pretty good I think <laughs> we'll see um, right click stroke path okay um, backspace to take away the line again uh, press V now press command J to duplicate it command T then flip horizontal hold shift and drag it Looks like a champagne bottle or something. <laughs> or a bowling thingy. Yeah, but you get the idea of how we do it. Merge the two layers. So the bottle is now its own layer. Uh, and I'm going to take away this part again. Go over to this layer. Use a bit of this one. Or you can actually use this one. Oh, I'm going to use this one. I don't need it to be a... There, it looks good. Then drag the layer into it. New... As you can see here, it's kind of darker because it's... Uh, yeah, it's uh, two of these on top of each other. So... Um, what you can do is either take this away you can do it like this like that and you don't have the double line move this next to this one looks good do the same here take away this and I'm going to merge these two now. I'm going to use the whole thing so it's the same. Press V, Alt, Shift, and drag. And move it next to it. And uh, now you have to um, do the same as you did here. Make a new layer first. like this and you should have a um, line again line again sounds weird anyway um, just so you know it's straight Click. I'm just gonna go up there and there something like and down again and out and zoom in make the place it correctly I'm switching between my uh, external mouse and my pad so that's why I hear the clicking sometimes sorry mm. like that then press right click, stroke, OK. OK, as you can see, it was round in the bot bottom here, so I'm gonna. Same line. I'm gonna finish this one by. No! <laughs> I'm gonna start here. like that just make it a little uh, end here so you can take away the round part here and it's not going down making more troubles so again right click stroke path press OK um, take away the line 
basically this part it was still a little down here because it wasn't long enough here take away that part yes yeah just just have it like that then you copy this one bring it over and you're done with this part at least now we just put in the logo and merge these layers here so everything is one layer double click on it choose outer glow and as you can see you now have some glow around it but we want it to be a little darker you take the color here and just drag it down a bit it's supposed to be a little darker that's okay and set the spread to about 2 and the glow to 18 looks good with this now yeah I'm gonna save myself happy with that uh, I'm just gonna take the logo where is it? There it is. Like that. And there we go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well. I'm sorry for the little mis mistakes. Um, I'm kind of fan, fan, fan of doing it in one take. I usually don't clip the tape that much or edit it. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. We'll see you next time and keep photoshopping. Wow, that was lame.